Hey, what's going on, everybody? And thanks for tuning in. So today's uh, today's pretty exciting. I went ahead and picked up the trailer. Um, I'm gonna start moving, which is pretty neat. The truck master is finally getting a garage for the first time, and uh, I just I, I am just so excited and blessed to be able to do something like that. But either way, um, today's uh, today's video will be on my uh, brake switch. Before you guys go straight to, you know, hey, my cru cruise control isn't working, I'm having issues, it might be the cruise control itself. Uh, it might be something as simple as a $20, $15, $20 part, such as a brake switch, and it's connected right to your, your brake pedal. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is I do have cruise control, but for some reason, man, every once in a while while I'm dealing down the highway, it'll disengage on me, and i got to keep playing with it and turning it back on. Um, and also, uh, I think I think it might have something to do with my uh, trailer brake as well. When I'm hauling, uh, sometimes my trailer brake isn't working. It just it's just back and forth. Uh, it is for it's a brake light stop switch is what it's for, but it also controls your cruise control uh, when you turn it on and turn it off. So uh, just a quick step by step. Uh, just pay attention, guys. Hopefully this will help you out. Hopefully this will fix your problem. Um, but other than that, I appreciate your time. Okay, guys, so just moving right along. Um, what I'll be working on today will be my 2007 Chevrolet Silverado uh, 4x4. And this is the Duramax diesel. Um, but I don't, I'm pretty sure if you have a 2500, 3500 HD or half ton, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same process. So the tools that we needed for the job would be a 10 millimeter wrench, socket or ratchet, uh, preferred ratchet wrench, combination wrench. These things work pretty well. Flathead screwdriver to pull that retaining clip and obviously the part. So uh, let me show you where it's at. You got the brake pedal and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, follow this brake pedal and go all the way up until you see this wiring harness right here. It's connected to the actual uh, the brake switch itself. And what we're gonna be doing first guys, we're gonna go ahead and take off that 10 millimeter nut or bolt right there. Uh, once we take that off, we're going to pull off the retaining clip with the flathead screwdriver. Um, disconnect the uh, the switch from the brake pedal itself. Uh, well, the brake pedal, uh, this big bar right here, it'll come disconnected. Uh, the brake switch will fall out. Um, then go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness from, uh, to the switch. And then obviously install the new one. So uh, that's the steps. Pretty simple. Let's get started. Okay, so there's the bolt. Next, go ahead and grab yourself a flathead screwdriver. There'll be a little retaining clip right here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pull off. Uh, so just be patient with this one right here. You'll be able to just pop right down. There, just like that. And then next, uh, just pull this bar back like that. That should come right off. Just like that. Just like that. And it comes out and that's it okay guys so I got the part off um, pretty simple um, so obviously I'm not going to show you guys how to put this back on I got the new part in in the mail uh, but basically you know put that retaining clip back on plug in the wiring harness put in the put it back that 10 millimeter bolt and you should be good to go um, here is a close-up on that clip that retaining clip sucks. It's kind of a pain in the butt And also uh, if you can watch one of my old videos I did one of my Tahoe as well, and uh, it was the same exact process and let me show you what I got I got a, a The newer body style Tahoe So and it was pretty much the same exact thing. So I mean Just to help you guys out just a different angle So if you guys want to watch that video as well, I'll uh, go ahead and leave a link um, in the video so Just click on that one But uh, all right cool. Hopefully this helps you guys out Okay guys, hopefully that video was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned um, so I can show you guys the new house. Uh, but other than that, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.